Hi, hello, and howdy. My name is Erin of Essentially Erin, and welcome, or welcome back, to my channel. Today is gonna to be another segment for the Curl Community College, what I'm dubbing a curl education that everyone can afford. Today, we're gonna to talk about all of the different terms that you might come across during your curly journey. I know when I first started, I was reading these blogs and articles and people were using things like SOTC or cast or plopping or grazing, raking, roping. There are so many different terms that it can get incredibly overwhelming. My goal today is gonna to be to break those terms down, to give you a visual representation of what it means and to show you the style that it will yield. As per my usual disclaimer, I am not a hairstylist or a hair educator. I am purely speaking on my experience with my curls. The entire goal of my channel is to help you figure out what works best for your curls first and foremost. So please don't come at me in the comments. I'm talking about my personal experience. It doesn't have to be yours. Growth is not linear. So let's go on this journey together. Now, personally, I like to change up my style routine pretty regularly, you know, once you find something that works, you kind of stick to it and get into a rhythm, but occasionally whether you're dealing with protein overload, moisture overload, which I will go over in a separate video because I know it's incredibly important and a lot of you have requested that content, but depending on what circumstances your hair is currently dealing with, also what day of your wash week it is, will determine kind of what qualities you're gonna be looking for in a styling routine to best suit your needs. So be patient and let's jump in. First up, the styling terms. Raking is where you take your fingers and run them through your hair. This is great for people with thin or fine hair because it helps to break up heavy curl clumps as well as lift the hair from the scalp so it can create volume. It also helps distribute product onto every hair strand, which is great for people with thinner hair. Praying hands is where you press your hands together on opposite sides of your wet hair and smooth downward. This helps eliminate frizz as well as create thicker curl clumps that you can then separate later for more volume. Roping or twisting is similar to raking, but instead of separating each curl with your fingers, you're actually going to grab pieces and pull downward, creating small twists or rope-like features. This creates curl clumps, which allows you to have thicker curls and more volume. Scrunching is where you cup the hair in your hands and in one motion scrunch up toward the scalp. Pulsing takes the scrunching method a step further and when you've pushed the hair follicle to the head, you repeat the scrunching gesture, which allows moisture and product to penetrate the hair follicle as well as lifting the root for more volume. Finger coiling is the process of taking individual clumps of hair and while product is still in your hand, wrapping them and forming a perfect ringlet. While there's no guarantee that it will give you the curls that you want, it is a method of training curls so that eventually they'll be able to follow somewhat of a structured pattern. Glazing is a method where you lightly brush the product on the outside of the hair follicle. Your biggest mission is to not disturb the formed curl clumps that you already have. Now onto the drying techniques. Microplopping is where you'll take an old t-shirt or a microfiber towel and scrunch the excess water out of the hair. Using a similar scrunching or pulsing method from before, this helps eliminate excess moisture and retain volume. Full plopping is where you'll take an old t-shirt or a microfiber towel, you'll hang your head upside down, wrap your curls, and keep them on top of your head. This helps pull out any residual moisture as well as create volume since the curls are on top of your head and minimize frizz. Generally, most people full plop for anywhere between 10 to 30 minutes. Hover diffusing is where you turn on your hair dryer and move it around the roots of your head without ever actually touching your hair. This allows a cast to form from the products that you've put in there while not disrupting the curl pattern. Pixie diffusing is where you'll take sections of your hair scrunch it into the base of the diffuser, push that diffuser towards your head, and then turn the dryer on for anywhere between 10 to 15 seconds. You'll turn the dryer off and then release your curls. This helps minimize frizz as well as keep curl pattern retention. SOTC stands for scrunch out the crunch. This is where when your hair is completely and 100% dry, generally you'll want to put a small amount of oil in your hand emulsify it, smooth it over your hair, and then scrunch to keep the curl pattern while breaking the cast. 
Fluffing is the process of lifting your hair by the root to create as much volume as possible. Take the tip of your fingers, bring them to the root of your hair, and gently lift and shake. Another way to fluff is by using a hair pick. You never want to lift from the mid shaft of the hair. Head to the root and do small lifts around your entire hair. And there you have it. Fluffed, finished, and fine. Now I'm sure by the time this video comes out, somebody has come up with a new hashtag style technique that they've absolutely loved, or somebody has perfected a better version of the pixie diffusing method. The main purpose of this video was just to break down a few of the terms that I know were confusing for me in the hopes that you can avoid that same confusion and kind of understand what people are talking about. If there's a term or a technique that I didn't cover that you'd like to know more on or you're a little bit concerned about, please leave it in the comments. I read every single one of them and I would love to know how moving forward I can make more content that you guys want to see. And if it means doing a follow-up technique video, then I would love to do that because it means that I'm learning too. Like I said at the beginning of this video, it's all about finding what works best for your curls and your hair. If you have thin hair, then you might want to use techniques that don't involve pulling your hair down. That way you can increase the volume. If you have super dry hair, then you're gonna wanna use techniques like pulsing or scrunching in order to push that moisture back into the hair cuticle. Try a few different methods on your own, figure out what works best for your curls in that moment, and then just build a routine from there. Remember, we're all on this curly journey together. We're all figuring it out as we go. And never forget, at the end of everything, essentially, be yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's terrible. That's awful. Why would I say that? That's so dumb.